uh, on Ephraim route. Okay, so chapter 10. You know the chapter 10 boss that has a Lance Reaver and a Killer Bow and a Longbow? Danny, <laughs> you're killing me here. So, now we know that the Ballista is dangerous even in my hands. So we're not going to use it. I mean, you could. You could just roll those save state dice. I could, but that feels really scummy. I, I mean, know. I know fight degeneracy with degeneracy. Like, I know the whole, like, play however you want, all that stuff, but I still feel, like, weird about using save states. Oh, me too. I hardly ever use them. Um, like, I don't think there's anything wrong with not wanting to use them. Because at that point, I might as well, like, make all of my stuff 100 hit and all of theirs zero, because I could just rig everything. Now, I will rig some stuff. Like, uh, every time I play Pirate Ship in FE7, I will always rig, um, like, killing the boss or whatever. Because 30 crit tome that hits through your resistance, no thanks. Yeah. Like, I will always rig that. Especially because it's on the boss at the end. And it's on the boss that you want to steal the guiding ring from. Like, he's not just the boss in the yeah. map that ends it, but he, like, has your promo item, and you can't get it otherwise. It's so rude. You do have to steal it, though. He doesn't drop it. Yeah, you have to steal it, so you have to walk Matthew all the way over there. Past all of the Pegasus Knights and Dark Mages, and it's bleh. Okay, so if we put Amelia here, she can only get hit by one mercenary. But does she live hits from both of them? Which sounds like a really stupid question, but that's because it is. She'll take... Let's go down to 16. She'll take 12 twice. If she's full, she doesn't die, actually. The problem is, I can't really do that this turn. So instead, we will just wait another turn. Yeah. Okay, we're almost done getting everyone over the mountain. Here come the brigands. Oh, you actually do one around this guy. I don't mind that. He doesn't one around this one. Uh, if he gets the two percent crit, he does. <laughs> Oh, wow! I'm so gamer! I'm so gamer! Wow! We like to see it. That was impressive. Hey, soldier, you should come attack Vanessa. So now we just walk of shame our way all the way back up the map. Uh oh, another guy can move. Do I have a Knight's Crest? I've already forgotten. I don't think I do. Uh, the first possible Knight's Crest was replaced. Because Murray <laughs> didn't just... drop it. Yeah, no dropping. The second possible Knight Crest comes really late. It's on Aias in the defend map. You might get it. Oh, there's no way I'm getting it. I'm already reserved to the fact that Name is the only person promoting in this run. Garrick? What about Garrick oh, yeah, and slash or Garcia? But I have a feeling that's like my only... I get this weird I, feeling that's my only hero. I crest. decided to give you the FE7 experience of relying on pre-promotes, okay? What pre-promotes? <laughs> Inez! Seth, Seth Inez. Those are pre-promotes! Seth and Inez! Sniper Emblem! Inez will carry. <laughs> I never thought Inez would be my hard carry. Oh my gosh. On the bright side, Amelia is like actually working, and I don't know how to feel about that. But this goes up to 16, so that, it, that doesn't actually kill. So we can just do this. 
try to get her lance rank up still. I think it just went up to C a moment ago. Yeah. A axis is cool. I just wish I had a. Um, I just wish I had a silver axe. And I think your first silver axe is like. Dusel comes with one? I'm actually struggling to remember when you get a silver axe. Uh, Dusel comes with a silver axe. Dalsa has a battle axe. Yeah, he has a battle axe, which is. a little sketch? It's so inaccurate. It's got like 65 hit or something stupid. It's also really heavy. Yeah, Vanessa doesn't want that. Yeah. Vanessa's not about that battle axe life. If I could just get her a silver axe, I think she'd be amazing. But I have to wait until, like, Dawes let it get- Oh, I have to wait until Deuce let it get a silver axe. I thought I got a- Deuce was a good pre-promote. You know, speaking of pre-promotes. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait to see his, like, his horse's legs got cut off or something. <laughs> <laughs> well, if I did that, it would have affected Gillian, and Gillian did not need the nerf. <laughs> Gillian is dead. <laughs> which is why I gave which is why I gave Gillian the steel bow so he could be a bow armor. <laughs> Dodge. Amelia We're... gaming. <laughs> Amelia's actually working. I, I kinda hate this. <laughs> <laughs> I like training bad FE8 units. Like I'll train Naomi, I'll train Marissa, I'll train Ewan. I draw the line in Amelia. I do not find Amelia fun to train usually. <laughs> the thing is that Amelia's in that weird spot where she's like worse than all the people you listed, but she's also not like bad with a funny niche, right? Like Yeah. Cause like Paladin is actually one of the better classes in the game. Yeah. But nice crit. Versus like, you know, you make Noel a druid or whatever, right? Like That's funny. It's funny. Whereas like Amelia, you're just like, it doesn't feel like I'm using the funny bad unit. I'm just using like a mediocre paladin. I'm just using a potential unit. But that... she doesn't even have the potential. Like her growth rates are god awful. That is true. I will say, I do love her Cavalier Sprite. I love the Ponytail. Yeah, I mean, that's just the female Paladin, or female Cavalier in general. You just don't really see that. Oh, wait, what? Oh, wrong button. Good job. There we go. Okay, I am very scared to, like, bait enemies out. On the bright side, I think those were the only reinforcements are, like, the yes, pegs and according to those. WOD, they are. So you're like home free. You just have to deal with the just save state your way through the ballistas and boltings. Oh, you don't have to ask me to do that. I was gonna do that. And that's the solution. That's okay. how we do. We're gonna bait you down just so it's one less enemy I have to deal with up here. The enemies. The enemy. Miss. Look at her go. She's probably performing better than Amelia. I can't believe she's like level 13 something. The 0% growth. So much unit luck. That has. Yo, she can be your ballista bait! Because she's had so much <laughs> luck. True. <laughs> Just give her the Delphi shield. Huge if true. True if huge. <laughs> Look how pretty she looks as a, as a bishop. Bishop? Yeah. The generic bishop namey. Look, Fire Emblem has some very good looking generics. For whatever reason, they put so much time and effort into making the generics look really good. Okay, we're just gonna like drop like this. There we go. Okay, now all the units are on screen. All right, you exist. Wow, yeah, it's, it's, okay. it's, they feel like they shouldn't move, but. They do. I always one of them drops the door key that you need. Yeah. Or. Because you still don't have a lockpick. Do I need to use the door key, though? Are you going to mountain walk Erica all the way up there? I could save the door key. 
What are you saving it for? I don't know. Uh, the, the castle? Jahana, maybe? Jahana Palace? <laughs> Wait, are there enough door keys in Jahana Palace to recruit Renak? I think so, I think. Yeah, there must be, because you only need one. Because there's three entryways, and each one of them has an yeah. armor with a key in front of it, but I don't trust you. I don't trust me either. You should probably keep that door key just in case. It's weird, because the lack of viable door keys makes it feel like they were just really trying to push the futility. And they were like, look, see? Now you have to use Colm to open these doors. But there's viable chest keys. Like, just do it the other way around. Make Colm be the person who gets you all the treasures. Yeah, not the one who gets all the doors. It's a very weird choice to because say the least the thing is they have to put door keys on all the maps as anti-soft locks yes. because Colm can just fucking die in chapter 2 and so like as a result it's just it just makes him not it feels like they didn't push the futility the anti pushed it it feels it almost feels like they were trying to push it but then did the opposite by accident oh now we can just sit here and javelin this guy Vanessa level? Oh. I mean, she did level. She increased the level stat. She did. Now the level stat that di displays at the bottom of her Thracia forecast will be higher. <laughs> it's a good thing that shows me what my unit level is. In case you forget, it's so that you know how likely the Devil Axe is to backfire if you get isekai into Shadow Dragon. <laughs> okay, so this one doesn't move. That's what it is. The dorky one doesn't move, but the one, like, the other one does move. Okay, you can, that's right, you reach this tile. Okay, I don't want to just keep killing things with Garcia, because this is kind of a good unit already. You're worried about him stealing experience? I am worried about him stealing experience. Are you going to promote him, or are you going to promote Garrick? I don't know, because I feel like Garcia doesn't need to be promoted. Yeah, these are pretty good stats, not gonna like, lie. Promoting Garrick is still going to be weaker than Garcia. I guess I have this weird mentality where I want to promote the weaker unit, because the other one can perform well. Or I guess sometimes I'll do the opposite, where I'll go, well, I promote the stronger one now so the weaker one can gain more levels. Kind of depends on the scenario. Yeah. So since loot survived, I'm going to change it not to be the loot army's revenge. <laughs> the loot army's mercy. The loot, ar the loot army's going to have mercy on you for now. Go get him, Nami. We got to train that light rank. So I can buy the dummy. The dummy! I wonder if the animation works. Uh, it might crash the game. It I, might. I didn't test it. Because I know, like, like... I did not test it. I know, like, FE5 has the holy weapons from FE4, but if you try to use stuff like Thorhammer or for set or um, Volflame, it, like, breaks the game open. Yeah. I really shouldn't be feeding EXP to Naomi. I need to be feeding this to, like, Garrick. Or Josh. Well, Josh is never going to promote. I still want to feed stuff to him, though. Alright, well, as thank you, as a thank you from the loot army. Uh huh. We've created, I've created a new version. This is the Divergent Paths. <laughs> I'm gonna send you a version that is a that is a thank you from the loot army, and the the version that already got sent to you is the one if the loot army is angry from you. This is like a choose your own adventure, save your paths. <laughs> I'll have like two unlisted videos, so that way people can like click on the correct yeah. one in the end card to see whether I killed loot or not. The end card says like this is what happens when you kill loot. This is what happens when you don't. I think those are cool. I've seen a couple of those, and I think those are so neat. 
Uh, the first person to do them was many a true nerd. To my knowledge, that was the first person who did them. Huh. Sort of like started the trend. He did a uh, Fallout New Vegas, many a true Ma Fallout New Vegas, choose your own adventure to get the platinum chip back from Benny and, and what you do to Benny. I like those. I remember reading some of those choose your own adventure books. They were kind of interesting. I read the Goosebumps ones when I was younger. I'm just, I'm waiting for the next Joshua backfire. How do they keep not happening? <laughs> he doesn't even have very good luck. No, it's only eight. <laughs> so what is that, like a 23 backfire? Mm -hmm. Ow. Ow. Well, there's your backfires you wanted. Good. Okay, I really Let need to train. Fight. Since I'm not getting a guiding ring ever, I'm assuming, I need to make sure Naomi's staff rank gets trained so she can actually warp people. <laughs> the only warper. The only, only warper, warper is the best unit in the game. There we go. I kind of wish I could be giving levels to Tana, because she's kind of the one I really want to be training right now. So now we're going to... I guess I have men's staffs, but... I'm kind of, like, shorter on money than I usually am at this point. And I'm not really sure why. I don't remember missing a bunch of stuff. Okay, now we're going to bait out all the ballista shots. Oh, right, you can't pick up Garcia. Ah! So we're gonna put you right here. Two, three, four, five. There we go. And this one can reach like that. I think Ross can take it. We'll just have Ross on the mountain. Make sure I can't not Pablo range. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, nine, Pablo ten. range is dead range. Yeah, Pablo range is you don't live. Surely he lives a crit from like a ballista. Like he has a bajillion HP. Well, I mean, just what happens is uh, he'll just force a backfire. Force a crit backfire. Okay, so that's all the ballista gone. So now, and now you need to deal with Pablo. I want to get you out of the way real quick. You have a Lance Raver. I'm fighting the temptation to leave the Discord call every time you say something like that as a joke. Say what? I'm tempt I need to get you out of the way, or oh. you need to die, or I want you to leave, or I want you to go away. Like any of those where you're talking to red units. I'm just Fair. like, I constantly am like, oh, I should leave the Discord call. That'd be so funny. I've made that joke a million times. <laughs> so we killed this guy. I actually really want to see what Ross's hit rates versus, or see what Pablo's hit rates versus Mountain Walking Ross looks like. Uh, Lance Reaver. You should probably like pure water or barrier staff her just in case. Eh, it's forty. No one can withstand the might of Grado. See, we'll just dodge. <laughs> this is so funny. This is so this stupid. Is so fucking stupid. The dumbest part is that it's eight uses, technically. <laughs> it's only seven uses if he kills someone in one shot. Yes. Otherwise, it's always eight uses, because brave weapons don't care. <laughs> this is so dumb. I love it.
easy. Oh my god. You're winning these coin flips. Name me staff grinding when? What's the other left? I still have to do this like three times, right? Yeah. Or two yeah. more times. <laughs> On the bright side, once All that's right. over. Since you were good, since you were good, I will, um, and you're not going to get the Namey army. I will tell you what the Namey army was. Oh. <laughs> so, so there's a unit next map that I've renamed the Namey army. Oh. Or not the Namey army, the, the loot, loot army. army. Um, and in the evil version, it's a necromancer with a full inventory of boltings. <laughs> <laughs> Did he know? But in the good version, in the good version, it has a treat for you. It's, in the really good version, scared. it's delivering a present. No, it's delivering you a present, something you've said you wanted. Isn't for so long. Okay, but like Captain Hook gave Peter Pan a present and it exploded. No, but you've said you want this present. I'm really scared. You've said you want this present so many times. So there is no way I can manip this guy to, like, move his inventory around. Equip the body ring. <laughs> manip him into equipping the body ring so that the guy can go to the bottom. Because I've gotten... I couldn't have even stole it because I've only gotten one speed wings at this point. So I couldn't have even, like, speed wing comb and then stole it. Oh, I could have speedwing Colm and promoted him. Wait, what are the promo bonuses for for Colm? For a rogue or assassin? Yes. It has to be rogue, right? Oh wait, it has to be it rogue. It has to be rogue. It's only like two, so I can't think. Can't deal otherwise. Uh, let me pull up the bots channel. I mean, if he gets any, like these promo bonuses are so bad. Well, so, FE7 and FE8 do this weird thing where promo bonuses add to the... Yeah, he doesn't get any speed. Oh, yeah. Um, so, FE7 and FE8 do this weird thing where your promo bonuses actually add to the areas where you're weak. So, that's why Swordmasters don't get speed on promo either, because they're considered to already be fast enough. Um, but they get, like, strength instead. Yeah. I think we're gonna airlift... Who else do I want to train? I want to train Josh. I want to train... I want to give Garrick a couple of levels and then maybe I'll promote him. I know you can just promote yeah. Garrick at level 10, but I don't know. The weird part of my brain looks at level 10 promo and goes, but but you could train him. I mean, he does have 91 experience right now, so, like, bare minimum, give him one level. So that's a mountain tile, so we can go here. Well, he has the longbow can reach her, but, like... Wait, no, he can't. Unless the Merm moves, which he's not gonna. The Merm won't move because he can't reach anything. Yeah. So we're gonna... <laughs> I forgot Ross is a child. Um... Yeah, you have to drop. Alright, and then there's this that I can't get. Did you, uh, train Calm? <laughs> I have been training Calm. He's level 6. He's so unbearably slow at base. Yeah, I really don't get why they made him slower. In some ways, it's a blessing. In some ways, it's a blessing because it means you don't have to worry about the stealables because you can never get them. But I want to steal them. Oh my gosh. <laughs> can you imagine? Can you imagine if he moved with the bolting? What I was really me? surprised. I was really surprised because I just gave him two turn AI. I guess. But apparently he didn't want to move. Like I just straight up gave him moving AI, and he just didn't want to do it until you broke the bull thing. <laughs> I, so okay. I genuinely expected him to kill someone on turn one, and I just like didn't react because I was like, oh, that's you have weird. to keep it a secret. <laughs> Well, I was gonna. I was way thinking maybe like so, he like would move eventually for whatever reason. He just like didn't, and I was like maybe I did something wrong. So I was gonna say something in the end of the map. Okay, so Pablo moves. Yikes! Hey, he doesn't have crit on you though. Yeah, he doesn't have crit on Ross, which is awesome. 
I kind of want to pull him, like, here, so I can throw stuff over the door at him. You don't, like, crit Josh, right? 15 critical. You do have crit on Josh. He pulls another bolting out of his ass. <laughs> <laughs> and in this pocket, my backup bolting. Not bolting. another bolting. <laughs> Eats the body ring, gets a second bolting. Why didn't you move? What? He's right what there. Is he doing? What is his AI? I just gave him aggressive AI. What the fuck? What are you doing? Does Pablo not? Oh, I wonder if it... this is that thing. No, this is that thing where if they can't reach an enemy, they think they can't attack it. I guess. This is the thing that happens. Some... This is the thing that happens sometimes in Epi Sticks. Like, they have to have one range availability to reach someone. Like, they don't see that they can't shoot over the door. Yeah, and I think that's what happened with the bolting as well, is he didn't move because he didn't think... He didn't see it clear Like, because there was no... There... So, no, it's because he sees a... He does not see a clear path to any blue unit. Like, if a, if a, they see no... If they see no blue unit, they can reach the tile that the blue unit's standing on. Yeah. Then they are stationary no matter what so like if i go here he still doesn't move right oh wait no he does right so so if you open the gate he'll move if you open the gate he'll move he has to no he has to be able to stand on a tile that the blue unit's on he won't move there either he has to be able to stand on a tile that a blue unit is on interesting so he'll move if you go there yeah, it's a thing that happens in FE6 a lot. I thought it got fixed in the later ones. If you open the door, he'll move as well. Yeah, I don't like, want to Like, it's literally open the just door. that he can't stand on any blue unit. You I don't just... trust me with the keys. Pablo? Okay, that one I don't understand. Are you doing okay, Pablo? <laughs> that one I don't understand. You, do you doing okay? You just not feeling it today? <laughs> this... This one... <laughs> now I'm scared. <laughs> you should just open the door. I have a better idea. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> you know what's extra funny? There we go. You know what's extra funny to me? Wah. The first time a ballista backfired, it was an enemy. It was a player unit. Uh huh. When there were so many enemies using ballistas, <laughs> and it never backfired for them. Ever? Yeah. Look at this boss chip. Look at this. I'm close. I thought it was gonna be. Well, I mean, in the forecast it said four. It said two times two, which is four. Get out of here. Oh, oh. So based. I'm so glad you're training, Ross. I kind of need to. Who else am I training? I mean, do you need to? You can just plow through the entire game with Garcia in many, many ways. But that's boring. Okay, who's getting the body ring? Joshua? I'm thinking Joshua. Give him the hatchet. Give him the hatchet. Give in to temptation. The, my only other thought is Naomi because she's also losing speed from everything. And she's actually promoted, and Josh was never going to promote. I did. You say that like you think you're never getting a guiding ring or a master seal. Yeah. That is why I say it. <laughs> I'm happy to see we're on the same page. <laughs> Go get him, Ross, the boss. Oh, he actually doubles. That I mean, that's pretty based. Can we bait out the longbow without baiting the merm? Yeah, we can. And then we'll rescue Garrick over. <laughs> Look out, he's got a thing. Eric 
America's Next. <laughs> Just a slow taxi service. Yes. But it works. I mean, all in all, this map could have gone a lot worse. That being said, this map could have gone a lot better. It could have gone a lot better. Look at this guy. Bonk. Bonk. I feel like he's the right candidate to promote. I'll first see if Tana promotes. If Tana promotes automatically, then I'm saving it for her. That's fair. Because I want to promote her into a hero. Because I want female hero. Uh, well, so technically speaking, Tana is transmasculine now. All right. Like she'll get the male hero stuff. Eh, it works. Um, because there's no like female hero stuff programmed in. Yeah. So. I guess he's transmasculine now, if we're saying that that's what's going on. I like to think that Tana's just gender fluid. <laughs> you know, sometimes he's a Pegasus, sometimes she's a warrior. But always a hero. Always, always a hero to me. <laughs> I, <give up. laughs> I can't believe you fucking did that. I give up. <laughs> I give up. <laughs> There's another set of stairs. That's why There's I another set of stairs. That's why I didn't drop. I I know, I saw you preparing to do it and I was like, Jacob! That's why I didn't do it. I need Are to you, do a little... <laughs> You're going to the arena? I need to do a little gambling. Uh you know that yeah, this is gonna break it. <laughs> Remember she doesn't have axe animations. <laughs> I want to go home. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be here anymore. Jesus Christ, what are these bets? I didn't even fuck with the arena. The arena's just being mean to you for no reason. <laughs> okay, he doubles at least. That's awesome. I like um, the Shadow Dragon music playing in the arena. Oh, yeah. Look, we have money. I'm not gonna arena grind a whole bunch, but I want some money. It's all about the money. It's about sending a message. Drop you on your Are phone. you arena grinding Namie as well? We'll throw Namie in there for a sec. Here it I think that's pretty much the map, right? I think so. I'm not going to grind a whole lot. I just want to see... She's also probably going to break the arena because she doesn't have animations either. Even for, even though she's not going to use a bow? Oh, I guess. Huh. Interesting. <laughs> yep. I do, like uh... that we get, I do like that we get to see like how it generates the enemy on the map like that. Yeah, well, so anyone who uh, is actually, like, a real fan of Peak already knew that, because that happens in fucking John the Hero, so uh, play Legend of John Lingering Blood. I haven't played it, but I definitely know Mitch. what it is. He is brave hero who saved the world. Kills humanity. With the sword that slays Why humanity. Would... Why would she bring a lance into this fight? Uh, because it chooses okay, your weapon. at least she doubles. Wow. Well, no, it chooses your weapon. I was saying, why would she? Like, you didn't do it. Yeah. But, like, Amelia chose. Amelia's the one who chose her weapon. Do you remember how, do you remember how it chooses, uh, they choose their weapon? Higher weapon rank, I think? Yeah. Like, it's just an iron of the highest weapon rank, but yeah. still. It just goes off of, like, whatever like, highest rank is. That's funny. I still blame Amelia. She's the one who chose it. Oh, I always blame Amelia. You should just seize. Get me we do not here. need to torture ourselves with more arenas. Get me out of here. I want to go. I want to go home. Go away, Voltron. Okay. I want to do it with you. Well, on your way home, you should click on the subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. <laughs> Bye, Jacob guys. Jacob has, has earned this. Very good. Very good. <sighs>